performance at the end of the day? I mean, you came in, you stabilized the offense, you basically played your role on the team. Just talk about what it feels like. It feels, it feels, it feels good, you know. Just being able to, to, to play the game, especially to play the game with, 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 with people I love, you know what I mean? And just, just being able to represent my country, you know, shout out to everybody back home. Just, uh, I can't even explain, you know, what I really feel. You know, it's all the glory going on. I saw a lot of your emo emotions came out on the stage just now. Coach Izzo passed the phone to you. You talked to your mom. What'd you yeah, tell her? Yeah, yeah. I just tell her, you know, we, we here. Uh, we're in the final four. And, you know, uh, just, I miss everybody back home, you know. We still got a lot of work to do, but this is a, this definitely is a, a milestone, you know what I mean? We, I can't even explain it right now. Okay. I, I asked Buddy the same question. You know, talk about the run that you guys made, the exposure that he gave to Bahamian basketball. What do you think the importance of that was? The point is just, you know, just to tell kids they can do anything they want to do, and, and it doesn't matter where you come from. You know, I'm from the Bahamas, and you know, a lot of guys on there just continue to work hard, and, and you can be with anything, anything you want to be in your life, as long as you keep going first. You said this was going to happen. Yeah, you kind of forecasted this a little bit last year with the text messages. Yeah, it, it wasn't me; it was Mark. That's who I was. That's who was speaking to me. So I, I just, I just told him. I just told the team what, what I felt. What he told me. What are these emotions like right now? To, to see the time wind down and know you guys are going to the final four. You're a freshman and, and to see all of this happening. Uh, I can't put it in words. Just, I just give all the credit to my teammates. You know, I'm glad to be here with them and uh, you know. All the glory goes to God, you know, we, uh, we deserve it, BJ, Trav, and the Kimo, they deserve it, you know, Coach Hayes, they just, everybody works so hard for this moment, it's just a special time. As really? hard as you guys fought in so many games this season, it's kind of fitting that it came down to overtime and it wasn't easy in the end, yeah. was it? No, no ma'am, it wasn't easy, but you know, we got a job done, uh, we going to the phone call. Were you on the phone with your mom? Yeah. What was that conversation like? You know, just listening to her cry. Tell us in there. Yeah, I told her we wanted to phone call. Is there a chance she's going to be able to make it up or is that a... Yeah, hopefully. She said, she said, I heard you say, like, I see you on, you see me on TV, you see me on TV? <laughs> yeah, she was watching. <laughs> Tom, you played with a little bit more aggressive on the offensive side today. Did you feel after the slowness of the team that right, you needed to do something? Yeah, that's what my coaches told me to be more aggressive and that's what I did. They, need, they needed me to, I, I do whatever they tell me to do, you know. They tell me to facilitate, I do it. They told me I needed to be a little more aggressive and that's what I did. I know, when, we, when we first talked, when you first came to Michigan State, you talked about how it was an adjustment, you know, getting used to the schedule and just becoming used to being a college freshman. What's that transition been like from that point to the point where you are now? Well, it's been an unbelievable transition, but uh, you know, all the credit goes to my teammates and my coaches for sticking with me and just you know helping me to learn the game more and more each and every day. And, uh, a lot of film work, a lot of staying in the gym, and just there's a lot of confidence too. It sounded like you were talking.